Hi. I want to speak before I get going with another delivery. I just want to um, bring forth a message that I just got just a few minutes ago due to a conversation that I had with one of the workers in the business that I was going to pick up a delivery from. I goes to many different stores and picks up deliveries. So I'm always interacting with people throughout the day. But this particular day was something different, more, more abnormal than ever. And it's a conversation that me and this I call her my sister. I don't I don't like to say the friends the friend thing because at the end of the day I have a fleshly I have two sisters in the flesh, but when it comes to the spirit we are not equal. We're not we're not on the same level. It's a whole nother level with the sisters that I was born into a family for, but I wasn't part of the family never never part of my family's family that's why i don't too much acknowledge them you know what i'm saying for my whole lifetime i really you know dealt with them like on a, a family oriented situation you know like people have family um reunions and family barbecues and family get togethers and family dinners we never I never I never did none of that with my family so you know I know that I was just born into this family but my family never actually had the the empathy the compassion the understanding or had the even the um the how can I say it um never acknowledged that we were truly family never had that love bondage between family no not our family our family was just more of a divided family and a divided house will not what stand a divided house will not come together and i actually the father father Jan brought me back in 2019 to my family and it's the same scenario when i left my family and went on about my whole life we don't even really converse conversate only time we conversate is when i see them in the store hey cuz hey cuz hey sis hey sis and then majority of them will say hey and then give me five dollars give me twenty dollars give me thirty dollars and i used to just do that because of the love that i had for them for family but now that i know it in a spiritual way now it's like no demon no I, I can't give you five dollars i can't give you ten dollars i can't give you twenty dollars and i had to learn that the hard way because i'm very loving I'm, i mean i'm very 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 loving but a lot of people took my love for granted and the majority of the people that took my love for granted was the ones that was close to me so now I, it's just like now this year and any other years to come i tell my family and whoever in my family that i'm connected to there is no us you can't go where i go because where i go you will bring your heavy burdens with you and i do not do people that have heavy burdens people that do not have self-control people that do not heal people do that do not people that do not recognize their own faults i don't have time for those type of people i will never have time for those type of people ever again because those type of people will leave you for dead and go and destroy somebody else. They'll step right over you. And why they do such a thing is because they will not let their dark ways go. They will not heal from their their traumas. They will not acknowledge their traumas or they will not acknowledge them giving other people trauma. So those are not the type of people you wanna go down. I mean, those are not the people you wanna hang around with, you actually really wanna conversate with or you even actually want in your circle because they will make your circle into a maze. And I mean, in your life, they will make you go down this maze that you were not ready for and you will end up losing yourself if you constantly go down or hang around with these type of people. 
because they are very demonic. They are not trying to heal whatsoever. They're only trying to find somebody that they can eat off of. And that's in many different types of ways. If you got finances, they're going to eat off your finances. They're going to tell you things you need to hear. They're going to try to stroke your weaknesses. Meaning by stroke your weaknesses, they're going to try to tell you things that you want to hear. Make you feel the way you, you fantasize to feel. You know, Satan know how to tap into weaknesses. That's Satan's job. That's what he masters. So any person, Satan ain't going to come up to you in these big old red horns, this devil tail and pitchfork in his hand. No, Satan coming up with a uh, soul that he is actually using. I call it a spiritual clone. Satan got that person cloned. He is taking away their identity and fitting his image in it. So you do not want to mess with people that is out to get you. I don't care who they are, how old they are. Like I say, color, age, size, shape, all that. It don't matter to Satan. If he can use you, he going to use you. I used to, I used to think that, you know, age matter. Age don't matter. You can find a 75 year old man or woman and they still think, talk, and act like they're 15. Age does not matter. Spirit does not go by age. Spirit, spirit goes by maturity. If, that, if you can be wise before your time, it's some, it's some 30, 40, 50 year old people that's wiser than a 60, 70, 80, 90 year old man or woman. I used to think that age thing matter. Age don't matter. As long as you're a grown woman and a grown man, you are legal, you're, and you're wise and you're mature in your spirit. See, that's that's what's the kicker. See, the world done painted this image of what's not right and what is right, what should be and what should not be. Because why? Why they do that? Why they do what they do? Because the God of this world. The God of this world have hidden a lot of truth from these traditions, these lies, these downfalls, these smear campaigns, these people that want validation. Man, I don't, me, myself, personally, I don't care what this world thinks because this world is, is chaotic. It's full of corrupt. I want to say corrupt. This world is corrupt and chaotic. It's full of chaos, full of different opinions full a lot of lies it ain't nobody got time for that game that is a game that i do not play if you are mature i can talk to someone that's 30 35 which i'm older i'm 48 but i can talk to someone that's 30 and they mature i'm all in i mean you can conversate all day long i done told i've been talking to older people like 65 55 my age 70 and i'm like who am i really actually talking to here am i talking to a kid because those older people their flesh is old but their spirits are very immature they have no ambition they have no motivation they have nothing and when i was younger I didn't get, you know, you would think that your mother or somebody older in your life would give you that true wisdom, the true truth in spirit. Don't do this. Don't go down that road. Don't go down that road. You mess your life up. I ain't heard none of that as I walk through this earth. When I was young, my enemies were my family. They they loved that the mistakes I made, but see, they didn't love that I bounced back from the mistakes I made. Yes, I made many mistakes in my life because I didn't have no one to guide me. But not knowing that Father Yah was guiding me the whole time. And once I got out of those portals, my family, my mother, my brother, my sister, nobody else told me not to enter back into those portals. They actually go back in that portal. My mom even actually, and this is real talk, my mom actually was directing me to go back in abusive relationship. Not saying that I didn't fight back, but an abusive relationship where it would have tore me down or I would have tore it down. See, I wasn't one that was scared of anything. 
I mean, I, I, I was, I never feared too much of nothing. I fear a dog, of course, because I mean, I never, I, I, I just don't like the way people raise their dogs. And you know, dogs are very sharp. They have very sharp teeth. So that's the only thing I really fear is a, like an aggressive dog. But then I get mace for that and I, I will mace them eyes. But on top of that, I'm scared of spiders. Very little itty bitty spiders. I'm very scared of spiders. But if I get to know us, get to know about spiders, I should because I used to love Animal Planet. If I get to know about spiders, I mean, I probably wouldn't have actually, I wouldn't actually be scared of them. Because once I learn something or learn the technique about something, you know, I'm not worried. But what I want to talk about is going back down portals that you came out of. And I'm going to give some uh, examples. I'm going to demonstrate something. I'm going to demonstrate what I'm talking about. Then I'm going to give you the verse I'm talking about. Because I, I need to let people know our Father word will not come back to him void. You go to Isaiah 55 on that one. His word will not return back to him void. When he said things, he said things in parables. He's speaking in spirit. See, a lot of people, and, I, and my favorite verse, Ephesians 6, 12, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. And a lot of people think that we wrestle against flesh and blood. We don't We don't wrestle against the appearance. We wrestle against the inner appearance, which a lot can't see. I can see. I can actually discern because of the Holy Spirit was given to me by the Father. I actually can discern the person and the I could actually discern the spirit behind the person I can look through the veil of a person so that's why I tell people real quick dude just don't get too attached to me especially if you're going to attach yourself to me and lie because I can read your lies I can read whatever you up to but it's not because I can do it it's because what the father give gave me to do but um I'm gonna give a dem uh, um, I'm gonna demonstrate something, and um, and what I mean by portals, whatever sin you be, or whatever situation you got out of, and you return back to it you actually returning back to, into something that could actually finish you off or you can finish it off and it'll end you or you will end it and one thing about returning back to portals that you overcame or you were set free from the thing about returning back to it as Satan will send that person back to you. Because see, that person thought that they damaged you. Because a lot of people, when somebody either walk out their life or detach from them, they nine times out of ten can't bounce back from it. They'll dwell on it. Like, I'm going to use an example. Just like me and my ex. I'm going to use him. Because he was my ex. He's four years of, of an ex. I don't think about them. I don't, you know, I don't call them up. We do not, we do not communicate. It is what it is. It's over with. I don't wish him no bad. Trust me. I wish him no bad. I, I do pray that he will get himself together and get his life on track. That's just bottom line with that. You know, I don't have nothing bad to say about him, you know, on this page or any other page I talk on and I only talk on Facebook and YouTube. I don't, I don't do a lot of social media. That's just not who I am with that either. I don't care about social media. Social media is not where it's at for me. But anyways. if Just say if he come around and be like, he pop up out of nowhere. In which he not going to pop up out of nowhere. Cause he don't work. He don't. He don't drove himself eight hours out of where he live at. I moved eight hours away from him, so I know he not gonna drive up from no North Carolina to no Maryland. I know that ain't finna happen. If it do happen, then he really actually waste his time because that's not what he 
you know, he, you know, he shouldn't be popping up. That that ain't that ain't gonna happen. You get what I'm saying? That's just not gonna be cool. You know what I'm saying? He must be just taking a trip because he need to air his head out. I mean, honest or honesty. But anyways, I'm giving a I'm I'm gonna demonstrate something. I'm gonna talk about something real quick. And um, just say if he desires that, you know, um, he wants to come back and he he Satan send him back to um try me. Just say if he find out where I live or he call me on the phone, he get my number. I'm just I'm just I'm just I'm just demonstrating something. Or he hit me up on um Facebook on my messenger or something something of, of that source. And um he say Hi. You know how they do it, hi stranger long time no see you know that's how they, they talk they shoot their shot and then they start you know if you say how you doing then you open up a, a little window for satan like i'm down in these windows you open up a little window for satan to come in see it's not that person that person now is cloned that person now is programmed so a clone is what programmed to be an image of somebody else so that when you open up a window for Satan to come in, like Satan just said, just imagine this portal. And a portal is like a dark, a dark, um, a dark turn, um, a dark tunnel, tunnel vision, as Kodak, Kodak Black said. And I'm not in the rap, but he, you know, some of these songs give out some real true meaning. So just imagine tunnel vision and you down that black, you look down that tunnel and it's just black. And imagine whoever you used to be deeply in love with in the flesh, not in the spirit, but deeply in love with in the flesh. And you just seeing that person saying, come on back, come on back. It got the door open, but actually it's Satan in a disguise so satan is actually in that person but see satan is hidden because if you don't see spiritually you won't discern that it's not that person it's some it's a dark force behind that person so if that person's standing at a portal and just look at tunnel vision and you see a black hole and satan through another person especially imitating that person like if y'all look at horror movies how they imitate like a child come and say come here mommy i love you mommy and mommy's so heartbroken because they love that baby and that baby done died or something and the mama just go to that baby because that mama just been in trauma because the baby had left or the baby had died on it or the baby just disappear out of without a trace anything anything that you love so dearly and it just left your life and you still vulnerable for it and that person is standing at that portal talking about, come on in come on i love you you know i love you i'm sorry i did whatever i did to you but their sorries are really not authentic because some can some demonic people can pretend that they're truly sorry but their sorries are not authentic they have not changed their patterns in life they haven't changed their walk in life they haven't turned their life over to father yeah that is the that's a big plus not pretending to turn their uh lives over to father yah but really actually have put in the massive work to turn their lives over to father yah and turn their walk around see once you become part of father yah you are not an old you're not in the old no more you're actually a new creature you're not an old creature no more because what that means is you killed out your sinful ways your sinful lusts your fleshly desires you're not now operating off of the seen appearance you're operating off of the unseen appearance and just say you go down that portal again and that person closed that door because they done got you they done, they done got you they done pulled you back in 
you be off you be off more worse than you were before because you do not know how many portals that person went down until they return back to you because guess what it's going to be worse off than it was the first time that's why if anyone is your ex if you are detached from a family member you detached from a co-worker you detached from a job stay detached move forward yeah moving forward might be hard and ugly and you 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 sorrowful and you and you you empty and you feel all kinds of emotions but guess what you do you keep on moving stay detached don't don't move yourself back because if you move back guess what it's gonna be ugly it's gonna actually really be ugly and i want to read this verse to you don't go back to nothing you walked away from i don't care if it hurt it you oh i don't care if you are the one that keep picking up people from your from your your uh trauma past it's time to fix it fix your destruction fix your destruction and how you fix it is get a prayer life repent turn away from your sins and talk to father y'all tell father y'all to help you and he will if you put in the work but this is a scripture I had to give to y'all. Matthew 12. Forty-three. Matthew 12, 43. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest, and findeth none. See? After he done devoured, after that person done di disconnected to you, they went and devoured a lot of more other people. So now they're tired because, see, they don't want you to get back up. See, they want you to still be sobbing over them, crying over them, keep whining over them, keep talking about them, keep hating them, keep issuing hate for them. Because that's what actually energized demons. And then it say in 45, I mean, I'm sorry, in 44, then he say, if I will return into my house from whence i came out and when he has come he found it empty swept and garnished then goeth he and taketh what himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself and they enter in and dwell there and the last state of that man is worse than the first even so it shall be also unto this wicked generations that's what I'm telling you right now. Listen to me. If somebody leaves you and then leave you and get right with Father Y'all, and they return back to you, with I'm sorry, they ain't got no type of change in their life. They ain't got no type of um healing in their life. Cause healing, I don't know where this light's coming from. Healing takes time. Healing literally takes time. Healing takes time. And if you constantly, sorry, if you constantly or you continuously keep running back and forth like a revolving door to your exes or you keep running back to ones that hurt you your whole entire life, you will never ever heal. You would never ever heal. You would never ever be able to move forward. You will end up in more portals after you get after you uh go back into the portal you just got out of. It's gonna get worse for you. You're gonna end up gambling. You're gonna end up fighting. You're gonna end up cussing. You're gonna end up just throwing whatever you work for away. You're gonna end up being bitter. You're gonna end up being selfish. You're gonna end up being a, a pervulsive liar. You're going to end up just being something that you're going to regret being. And then guess what? There go your whole entire life wasted. It is literally wasted. You literally waste your life. You literally waste your time for all you put in. And it ain't all about finances. Finances is going to come. And that's another thing that people lose themselves into is when they see a person with a whole lot of finances a nice car a nice house nice clothes oh they got a business oh they all oh, this they all man that's where satan get y'all at too satan get y'all in that area as well because a whole lot of people don't really want to put in the true work to um become 
the better person of themselves. And I'm speaking in spirit. Because it's so easy to, to uh, lose weight. It's so easy to um, gain weight. It's, it, that's easy stuff. Because once you constantly do it on a regular basis, you will end up, it'll become part of you. Especially if you're one of those ones trying to um, trap somebody. You want, Hey, you will pay somebody to take some fat out your body. Not me. I'll work it off until it work off. I don't care. I'm not going to, I tell people all the time, I am not no one. I ain't going to be no two. I ain't going to be no three or four. If that's the type of woman you want, so be it. Go get the woman your heart desire and guess what? Happiness, joy, and everything else with you because I know it ain't going to be. Because there's too many lovers of themselves out here. I'm not going to be nobody 120, 150. I mean, if I go back to 150 again, oh well. But if I don't, oh well. But I mean, I, I just don't like to be small. I'm a thick type of woman and not like a sloppy thick. And if I was a sloppy thick, oh well. There's people that really love a uh, uh, very large woman. This world talks about be this size. Don't eat that. Don't eat that. Yeah, for for health purposes. Yeah, I can I can agree with that. I can agree with that. I don't have no problem with that. That's cool. But just don't be down at people because they're um, big, big, big. I mean, like, I don't, shapes and sizes don't matter to me because we all can fix our flesh. But it's hard for a lot of people to fix that spirit. Me, I don't judge no one about their color, their shape. They can have a thousand pimples over their face. That's your face. One day you'll clear it up. One day you'll find a solution when, whenever you're ready. But that's not my job to sit around and mock you or pick at you or do anything. Because, honey, I can get right in here while I'm driving this car. And I can get in a bad car accident. And it can mess my whole body up for life. So that it's very, you got to be very, very mindful how you come at folks. That's why I don't deal with folks that love to make game at other folks. Like they got it going on. Because you can be 110 pounds and get cancer. You can get arthritis. You can get all kinds. You can get the same thing as that, that one that's um obese. You can get the same type of sicknesses. We can get the same type of um disease, infirmities. Um, you can get that woman that was 100 and... 98 pounds and, and, and next year she'll be 150 and the one that was 150 will end up being 198 pounds it's just what it is people forget tables do turn life do shift life never stay the same like you can get that hobo that was on the streets where people laugh at him oh he homeless he homeless oh i got more than i got more and then next year you'll be in the hobo spot and the hobo in your spot see people don't realize how life can shift and change change that's why it's very very it's very 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 fragile to badmouth somebody else because those words will blow right back up in your face but i just had to put that video out there it's dark it's time for me to go ahead and pull it in i got to hit the gym then i gotta do it in the morning and i love each and every one of y'all and i only hit the gym for my purposes because i want to move around i'm getting older in flesh my spirit is so youthy it is it's youthy but i got much wisdom and i got my wisdom from father yah but I, I the way i talk is just who i am but i do have a lot of joy peace happiness in my life and i love what father yah did for me i love what yahushua hamashia did for me he went on a cross so i could be saved and i'm not gonna let him waste another drop of blood or make him feel like he wasted his blood on earth for humanity for no reason no that's not how i roll and the rule how could dash i quint some sometimes because i love love songs and i'm gonna just throw that out there i love love songs and when i get that urge of listening to love songs i do and i tell the father please forgive me it's not that i'm i'm back in the world but music especially music that you can feel in your heart and that that very romantic music I love romantic music. I just can't hide and lie that because that'd be a lot. I do, but like I'ma get up and start shaking and all. No, I love love. I'm I'm very loving, so I give I issue out a lot of love. It's not that I'm you know I'm I'm in the world. I'm a sinner. I was a sinner. I've sinned, but I strive 
and what I mean by strive, I give all my, well, I'm a slave to righteousness. So anything that is righteous, I'm all for it. I used to be a slave to sin, but uh-uh-uh. The Holy Spirit won't even allow you to become a slave to sin anymore because the Holy Spirit knows who he chose and who he didn't chose, who he haven't chosen. We are called to do a purpose, and that purpose is very large, which we got to deal with a whole lot of broken people. But we deal. We don't care because we now... it. Uh, when people speak broken, we already know what's going on. We know Satan involved somewhere. Satan done sold a demonic seed in that person, and that person haven't uh, dug it up and um, killed it. It's still the seed is still growing downwardly. So it's time to pluck up, root up, and replant if you want to be right. Blessings to each and every one, and don't forget at night and in the morning, repent, pray. Read a little scripture and fast so you can get connected with the Father. And do that on an everyday basis. And believe me, you'd be amazed how wise your spirit become. And if the Father find that you're really great and you're really about his life, he'll give you his Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh. And believe me, you'll be amazed once you tap into the spiritual world. It's amazing. It's not a curse to me anymore. It's a, it's a blessing. So I love each and every one of you. So much love. Peace.